Welcome to Royal Secrets. No, not to us. Harry and Meghan were called boring in a harsh reality check for the Sussexes. According to an American blogger, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are not regarded as royalty in the US and are instead viewed as boring people. According to Paris Hilton, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are seen as celebrities rather than members of the royal family in other countries. The former Suits actress and the Queen's grandson are currently residing in California upon their retirement from royal duties in 2020. You know, I'm not being a hater, Mr. Hilton said on the To Die For Daily podcast, hosted by a law-based royal critic Kinsey Schofield. I'm giving the truth, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are not considered royals in the United States. They are well known. And regrettably, they are uninteresting celebrities. Meghan and Harry are pursuing new lifestyles of financial and personal independence across the pond while residing in Montecito, a haven for celebrities. As part of their new post-royal professions, they have secured lucrative partnerships with streaming Goliath's Netflix and Spotify. As part of their Netflix contract, they are apparently filming a at-home docuseries. According to rumors, the Sussexes allowed cameras into their house for the event. Previous to the release of the series, a Hollywood insider claimed to Page Six that Netflix was grabbing its pound of flesh from the pair. Fans are eagerly awaiting the debut of Meghan's first Spotify podcast series. Later this year, a book titled Archetypes that focuses on female stereotypes will be released. For the first time since Meghan's visit to the UK for the Platinum Jubilee, Harry and Meghan recently made a trip back with their kids Archie and Lilibet. The couple, however, kept a low profile throughout the festivities and skipped out on the most of the activities. The Sussexes and senior royals have been at odds since Megxit and the couple's dramatic Oprah Winfrey interview. During their sit-down interview with the U.S. talk show host in March 2021, Harry and Meghan made a number of shocking statements. In the latter part of the year, the Duke will also publish his openly candid book, King Charles III Won't Want to Rule Like His Mother, Major Changes Coming to the UK. King Charles III will be anxious to make changes after a lifetime as the presumptive successor, according to experts. On September 19, Queen Elizabeth II's state funeral was held, and at St. George's Chapel in Windsor, she was ultimately put to rest next to her husband of more than 70 years Prince Philip. King Charles III, the new monarch and her son, was watching in despair. As the royal family commemorates a second week of sorrow, the king has now traveled to Scotland with Camilla, the queen consort. While mourning still permeates the nation, focus has now shifted to the British monarchy's future prospects with a new king in charge. King Charles III, who will be crowned next year, was four years old when he witnessed his mother's coronation. However, as the heir apparent, he has been looking forward to becoming king his entire life. The king told Liz Truss, the prime minister, I know a lot of people have been dreading this moment. But we'll make an effort to keep things moving. Journalist Kerr Simmons and NBC royal analyst Daisy McAndrew spoke on the podcast Born to Rule. When Charles is King, which was released before to Her Majesty's passing on September 8 and addressed that tsunami the king now faces at the age of 73. Charles doesn't have any of the goodwill that Queen Elizabeth II had entering this position, according to Ms. McAndrew. Further reforms to the monarchy, according to Ms. McAndrew, will be necessary since King Charles III will want to carry on his mother's legacy differently. She continued, we know he won't just want to do it like she did because he'll want to put his own mark on things, even though he's sat at his mother's knee for the previous 70 years, observing how she's done it. Therefore, he will wish to change things, will we be prepared for the changes? According to rumors, the king wants the law changed to relieve Prince Harry, Princess Beatrice, and Prince Andrew of their responsibilities as the sovereign substitutes in the event that he becomes ill. Prince Andrew is believed to be the subject of a harder attitude from King Charles III, according to royal expert Tina Brown, who believes the prince's time as a royal has passed.